Great, so you're ready to create your course on the platform. First of all, you have to make sure you are logged in the host account. Head over to the host folder and click create course. You can create a course in three simple steps. First, fill out the general information in the about section. You can upload the image, give your course a title, a brief introduction, and then a description where you can write out the learning goals or any other information that will be helpful for the users. Click continue. Step two is the settings. We have the privacy settings. So if the course should only be available in your organization, just leave it at our organization only. If you want to open up the course and have it available on the lab, which is our open and free learning platform, then you can click organization plus lab. If the course is invite only, this means that it won't be seen by everyone on your platform. You can send direct email invites to the people who will take this specific course. With regards to the status, you can choose live or on demand. So on demand means that when the start date is chosen and the course opens up, users can take the course at their own pace. Live gives you the opportunity to open up each unit on a specific date. You can also put a cap on the number of participants that you want for this specific course. Over here, you can choose a start date and then you click continue. Now you're ready to add units to your course. Click add unit and as you can see, the units appear here on the left side. Let's say this course will have five units can add the units. You can also move the units around or delete them. Remember that once you delete a unit, all the content is lost, so make sure you have a backup. Each unit is made of the same parts. First of all, you have the unit information. You'll give your unit a title. Which appears on this side as well. The description um, is more of an outline or an overview of the learning goals of this unit. You can cover some key concepts or guide your user in the materials that you're including. It's not a place that you should have too much text, but think of it as the overall framework. In this section, you can add speakers. So if you have someone featured in the video lectures, you can find them if they have a profile on the platform but if they don't, you can still add them as speakers. It's really great for your speakers to have accounts on the platform because then users can easily find them and connect with them and grow their network. You can also add images from your desktop and here you can add links or upload video files. Same thing goes for the materials section. You can add links or upload various types of files from PDFs to PowerPoints or Word documents. Over here you can add the knowledge tags. Remember they're at the unit level. You can pick from our various knowledge tags. We recommend five to seven in each tag.
And then as you add materials, we have an AI function that automatically recommends some text. But I go over that in detail in another video. Same thing goes for exercise text. Click here and then you can add some tags. Let's say we go for editing the reflection tag. You click on the pencil icon and you can fill in the exercise description. You can choose if it's required or optional. You can choose if the students will write a text or an attachment. You can also enable both. Check this box if you want the exercises to be automatically approved. And then here you can type up your exercise description. Remember that you should always have at least one required exercise per unit. And we recommend three to four exercises in each unit. We also have our AI recommender, so if you can't think of any other creative ones, just check which exercises are trending in your industry and you can easily add them. Of course, don't forget to edit the description. When I click continue, I can do the same for unit two and so forth. When your course is ready, you can just click publish. As simple as that.